Hi crocheters of the world! In this tutorial I will show you how to work the trellis stitch and how actually I will show you how, how I work the trellis stitch with or without pico. So it's a very very easy stitch, very known stitch but uh, very nice to crochet a scarf. Uh, if you want to crochet a uh, winter scarf, you can use a nice bulky yarn and you will have a beautiful winter scarf. But if you want it a summer scarf, so you can use cotton yarn, maybe a um, changing color yarn and you will have a beautiful summer scarf or shawl. So depends of what you want. It's so easy, so nice and you have to try it if you don't know how to how to work it or maybe uh, if you know how to work it but uh, you you don't uh, haven't thought about this uh, this idea project uh, still now. So let's get started with the magic loop. Magic loop. No, with the slip knot. <laughs> Sorry. So with the slip knot. And we need a multiple of 4 plus 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, and this is 18 yes it's 16 actually <laughs> so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 yes it's 16 okay for just to show you how to work it it's okay so 16 stitches multiple of 4 plus 2 1 and 2 and now we are ready to begin. So into the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook and work a single crochet. Now chain 5. Skip 3 chains. 1, 2, 3. And into your fourth chain work another single crochet. Chain 5. Skip 3 chains into your 4th chain, work your single crochet. And you will continue on like this until the end of this first row. Chain 5. Skip 3 chains and into your 4th chain, work a single crochet. 1, 2, three, four, five, skip one, two, three and into the last when you are at the end of the row of course work oops, a single crochet. Okay. Now from the second row we will begin with the repeating sequence and we will begin with a chain of 4 and my chain of 4 stands for my first triple crochet and then with a chain of 2 so actually at the beginning of this first uh, row of the repeating se sequence we begin with 6 chains but I wanted to uh, explain you why, um, what is the meaning of these four, uh, six chains. So the first four stands for my first triple crochet. Then the next two stands for my half of a five arch. Okay, a half. Now turn your work, insert the hook into your one, two, three, third chain of the first chain five arch and single crochet into it. And continue on with chain 5. Insert the hook into your 1, 2, 3, into your 3rd chain of the 
chain 5 arch of the previous row and single crochet and we want to continue on like this for the entire length of our project and we will work a chain of 5 so a complete arch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3 into the and we will single crochet into the last arch of our previous row and now to finish the row we will actually do the same thing as to begin the row but on the contrary so we begin with a half arch which is a chain 2 and now we can work our triple crochet so in, uh, yarn over twice insert the hook into the single crochet and work your triple crochet and this is our first repeating row second repeating row and these two rows are to repeat for the length that we want is chain one turn and into the triple crochet work a single crochet now we have the half arch here and we will skip it we will chain five and we will insert the hook into the third chain of the first complete art, arch, sorry, which is this one. And this is the, the half arch, so the chain two. And we will continue on like this. Three, four, five. Skip directly into the very next arch. One, two, three, into the third chain, actually, of the very next arch. And single crochet. One, two, three, four. 5, skip into the very next, 1, 2, 3, insert the hook into the third chain and single crochet. Now to finish we began with a single crochet and with a complete arch, so with chain 5. So to finish we will chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we always finish as we begin but on the contrary, so we began with single crochet and chain 5 and now we want to finish with chain 5 and a single crochet but where? Into the 4th chain of the 6 chains, beginning 6 chains of the previous row. So 1, I am counting from the single crochet here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if you want to count from here, it's the 3rd, 1, 2, 3. But it's okay if you count from here because this is our triple crochet. So one, two, three, four. Insert the hook into the fourth chain and single crochet. And this is how we have to go on for a perfect trellis stitch. And we have to repeat these two rows. So if we finish with single crochet, means that we will begin with a chain 4 plus chain 2. So chain 4 for the first 1, 2, 3, 4 for the first triple crochet, chain 2 for the half arch and turn. Work into the very first arch of your previous row, a single crochet and continue on with chain 5 and work a single crochet into the third chain of your next arch of the previous row. Chain 5, insert the hook into the third chain of the arch and work a single crochet. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here I am at the end, 1, 2, 3, into the third chain and as I said before we finish as we began but on the contrary, so we finish with chain 2 yarn over twice into the single crochet work the substitute of the chain 4 so the triple crochet okay but how we have to finish actually to finish our work because if we finish like this we have something not very nice can you see so we need something which is really really straight nice that gives us a, a rectangular. So to finish our scarf, 
or shawl or as you wish, we will always finish with the single crochet round row sorry, and chain one, single crochet into the triple crochet and instead of chain five we will chaining four. So one, two, three into the third chain of the chain five of the previous row, single crochet, chain four and the same thing, one, two, three into the third chain, work your single crochet and like this we will have a perfect last row. Now into the 1, 2, 3 and 4 into the 4th chain of the beginning chain 6 single crochet and now I just want to show you it is just perfect. Ok and this is how I work the trellis stitch. Now I want to show you how to work it with pico. It's the same uh, multiple, the same thing only that we will include the picots. Now for the trellis pico variation you will complete the first row as for the trellis stitch and we will begin with the second one, two, three, four, five, six and turn. Skip into the third chain and single crochet with pico which means that we chain three more and into the single crochet here we Insert the hook into these two loops of the single crochet, we pull up a loop and we slip stitch to join. Ok, please, ok, slip stitch to join. And we continue on with the pattern, chain 5, skip into the third chain of the next arch and single crochet, chain 3, Insert the hook into these two loops of the single crochet, pull up a loop and slip stitch to close the pico. Chain 5, insert the hook into the third chain of the next arch and single crochet into it. Chain 3, insert the hook into these two loops of the single crochet, pull up a loop and slip stitch to join the pico. Chain 5, insert the hook into the third chain of the next arch and single crochet, chain 3, for the pico, insert the hook into these two loops of the single crochet and slip stitch to join now. Chain 2, yarn over twice and into the single crochet, finish with your triple crochet. Now chain one and turn. Into the triple crochet work the single crochet and chain five. Four and five. Skip directly into the first complete chain five arch, not this one because this is the half into the complete one. Insert the hook into the third chain of it and single crochet. Chain three and insert the hook into the single crochet into these two loops, pull the yarn and slip stitch to join the pico and continue on like this, chain 5, skip into the third chain of the next arch of the previous row, single crochet, chain 3, insert the hook into these two loops of the single crochet and slip stitch to join the pico, chain 5, Insert the hook into the very next chain 3 of the very next arch actually, single crochet, chain 3 and insert the hook into these two loops of the single crochet and slip stitch to join the pico. Chain 5 and now 1 2, 3, 4, insert the hook into the 4th 
chain of the beginning chain 6 and single crochet into it. And this is how we have to work it if you want if we want to work it with the pico. Okay, I will show you one more time. One, two, three, four. I finished the row with a single crochet. This means that I will begin the next with a triple crochet, which is chain four, and with a chain two for the half triple crochet. Uh, sorry, for the half arch. Now insert the hook into the third chain of the first arch of the previous row, single crochet and chain 3. Insert the hook into these two loops of the single crochet, slip stitch to close the picot, chain 5 again and continue on like this for the rest of your row. Don't forget to insert the hook in two loops of the single crochet when you want to close the pico. It's better into the third. Okay, one, two, three. Oops, yes, three. Insert the hook into the single crochet and close the pico. Now chain five and insert the hook into the third chain, single crochet, work your pico and chain two, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the single crochet and work your triple crochet. Now you will finish with the single crochet round as for the um, first trellis, the, the normal, the simply, the, the easiest actually uh, trellis uh, stitch with the single crochet and instead of chain 5 for the arch you will only chain 4. So chain 1, insert the hook here and work your last chain 4, work your last row, so actually this is the row, the, the final row, so when you finish actually actually your project, okay? So easy, so so easy, but really nice for a summer or 1, 2, 3, 4 and insert the hook into the fourth chain. And this is the trellis stitch with the pico. So this is how I work it. So sweet, isn't it? Cute. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope I give you some inspiration and see you at the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials. Bye bye!